Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no boo video. Today is video number two about Xiaomi Pro version 2 electric scooter. In my first video I explained that I never ridden one, I never had electric scooter in my life and I wanted to create an uh, experience from a person that touch it for the first time, what to expect, what it is. The reason why I'm doing that is there's so many videos that look professional, look um, edited, look, look very polished of uh, what scooter is and what to expect. And I found that sometimes when you're unboxing something, it's not really what it seemed to be. So I wanted to take people through the journey of experience that may, people may have first time and it's not as easy. Look, I'm a technically minded person and the scooter come uh, all the look like uh, pre-assembled. It's not 100% assembled. And there's a little things that I would like you, before you experience it yourself, see what I'm experiencing and maybe uh, your journey will be much easier. Also, in the first video, I explained that um, I buy my stuff on Amazon and I'll post links down below um, of the first fancy version of the scooter. I think it's called Mercedes AMG. It has ABS brakes and probably a couple of things upgraded. Also, this scooter comes with um, um, squisher tires, so you need to pump them up. If you would like tubeless tires that puncture free, I'll put a link down below that uh, you can buy those tires, put on a scooter, so you won't worry that. Uh, uh, you get puncture and it will spoil your ride. Also, if you after your your uh, disc uh, brake disc is almost worn, I put a, a link down below where you can uh, get your new uh, disc. So, if you didn't see my first part, it was unboxing and what to expect in the box as it comes. I'll put link down below to my first part and also you can find in my channel. Speaking about my channel, if you like this video or any other video on my channel, please um, hit the thumbs up. It will help me to promote my videos and grow up my channel. Also, um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell so you won't miss any of my further videos about this scooter or anything that I review, everything that I cook and I also try to help people to achieve better health, nutrition, and general well-being. All right, without any further ado, let's do part two. And I apologize if I stumble upon something again, the whole idea of this video, to experience what person that never experienced assembling scooters before and got the parcel will experience uh, through assembly. So what we've done so far, I unboxed it and I've got my charger aside, my instructions uh, and uh, compliance papers are here, so everything's still uh, closed. This is the way the scooter comes out of the box. What I did, I just put it on a kickstand, which is quite um, uh, handy to handle. And um, what I'll do now, I'll open set of instructions and see what it says and try to follow instructions. I know many people don't follow instructions, but uh, it's a quite expensive item. Uh, so I don't want to break it or make things that are not supposed to be. So first item I got out here, it's very good sturdy Allen key with one, two, three, four, five screws. Obviously we need to fix something. And we've got user manual. We've got specifications and important information. I think important information is not important right now. Uh, specifications are great, but not important right now. And use the manual if I think what we should consult with to start assembling. Well, the first step is put scooter on a kickstand and lift the handlebar up and lock the lever and, and by the way it's still disassembled so uh, it comes with uh, all the wires I think they need to be tucked in 
So I'm not sure if it's visible. So I'm tucking in. Um, so let me have a look. So there's a virus that's coming from the top here. They're still um, detached, so I kind of tuck them in uh, and try to put handlebar inside the tube. All right. It's a lot of wiring, but it's coming on together, I think. Is it or isn't it? All right, it's coming on together and now I'm locking up the steering wheel and look, it's all locked up. Now I think what we need to do is put two screws in. Okay, I see. So I think they precautiously given us five screws in case we miss one. So those screws are quite important. So they gave five, um, unless I don't understand something. So there's a five screws, but we need only four to fix front and back of uh, the handlebar. All right, the Allen key, actually, you know how you buy uh, IKEA furniture and Allen key, very poor quality. This Allen key looks and feels actually very uh, quality. I usually uh, recycle or throw away my um, Allen keys after I assemble furniture. I think I will keep this one. This one is pretty good. Uh, feels like a very quality item. All right, I'm just uh, put screws in position. Sorry, I'm out of focus. I just put screws in position. Um, to make sure they all uh, align and and then I'll tighten them up. So screws also got um, some sort of paint in them. I believe that is done for the purpose. The moment you put them in, so they won't come undone. All right, so I did the first front one. I'm not really making them too tight, I don't want to break anything but I'm trying to make them as tight as I can they actually, I'm not sure if I'm I'm not saying that lady is not strong as men but um, it's not going well in, I mean like it's, it's very tight, it feels like um, it feels like uh, you need extra power to make it tight enough. So here we are. We've got the front done. Now I do the back ones. I hope you can uh, see what I'm doing. It's just uh, fixing that um, handlebars. There. It's, it is very tight. I, um, it's tight to the point when it makes me a little bit un uncomfortable. So if this is what you're experiencing, um, I think it's quite normal only because there's a paint in the grooves of the screw, so they won't come undone. But I can tell you, um, put that much effort in tightening the screw, it's not making me too comfortable. I'm just afraid to break it, and if I break it, uh, it would be really hard to get it out all right i've done back one just making sure front one's done as well now i've done the screws so number one is to fix the handle up uh, to a uh, tube fr front tube number two is tuck in wires and number three to tie in tying screws and number four to charge your scooter I don't I don't I don't want to fill charge the scooter there's a charging port here so obviously to charge it's as simple as a plugging it in uh, so they explain how to do it and then it says that you cannot use scooter until you download application and link it to your mobile phone 
I'll try to do it offline. Uh, I don't believe it's a challenging exercise. And if there, if, if there are any problems with doing that, I'll explain it on the, in the part number three when I'll go for the ride. So here you are guys, what to expect. Scooter comes pre-assembled. Um, two things you need to do is tuck in wires, put four screws in. Just remember five screws are coming into the kit and one is a spare. Uh, the screws are coming very tight, so don't worry about that. Just you need to tighten up because that is your steering. You don't want them to come loose. And when you're done all, you need to charge it. Definitely pair it with your mobile and download Xiaomi application. Obviously, it will be um, updated to the software as well. And then you will be ready to go for a ride. What I'll do when I finish doing all of that and just before going for the first ride, I'll film my part number three. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any question about this video or any other videos on my channel, please comment down below. Again, smash thumbs up subscribe, notification bell, all the usual things. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Great from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.